okay? The Design Your Future You is vital, okay? This is an intuition awakening course that is going to take you into connecting with your higher self. It's going to connect you with your soul blueprint, and it's going to connect you to your Akashic records. I say guide, but, you know, who knows what, the way that you relate to it, okay? And through these three deep mystery experiences, what is mystery school? It's discovering who you are. It's discovering why you're here. It's discovering that you're this multidimensional being with so much encoded within you. You're carrying and you're playing a very small game. You're stuck in your old fear and your wounds. You're supposed to stop waiting. And so if you, if you plan your next year, your next steps based on your wounds and worrying if things are going to happen again, you're never going to align with the future you that is already living the life that is most optimal for you. All right, but it exists. Every version of you exists already. You could tap into a future you that you couldn't imagine right now, but if you try to set yourself up energetically, spiritually, template-wise, thought-wise, mindset-wise, um, giving yourself statements for the day, declarations that realign you, I'm going to give you these three processes so that you can repeat them and then your connection to these parts of you is, this is only a huge step forward because then the goal is for you to continue to co-create your life moment by moment. So it is a really powerful, deep mystery school type experience if you really want to know who you are, connect to your true blueprint, your destiny, your path, align with the powers, the wisdom, the knowledge, even the pain and the wounds that are optimal at this time for you to see, find, connect to in this body, this life, other lives in your, in your soul, um, other planets or stars you've lived on. Your soul blueprint is quite vast and you have access to it. So we're going to show you how to access your soul blueprint and how to let go of what you think you should have. Let go of your fears, your past, your pain, your blocks affecting you and your decisions, what you choose, what you decide, what you imagine. You don't know who you're becoming because you've never been there. We've never been here. The whole planet is <clears throat> in this crazy polarity, struggle, fear, blame game going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because the reality, the paradigm is melting down and everybody is realizing there's so much more to this and we've been pay playing this fear game. So you don't want to design the next step. You don't want to design your new business, your new book, your new program, your new artwork, how you talk to your children today. You don't want to design your life from fear, from depression. If you're sitting uh, disappointed every day, or if you're full of fear that you're not good enough, if you're having massive financial issues uh, in your head, in your emotional field, these are all going to be a part of the energy that you plan with. So we're going to cleanse, then we're going to connect, and that could be to the higher self, um, the soul blueprint, or the akasha. And these three processes are going to be something that you can repeat. So you cleanse, you're going to connect, and now you can co-create. You can design because you can come in and say, hey, I've always wanted to do this, or I feel ready to do that, or this is the year that I'm going to you know, write my book or share my songs or uh, start doing videos and being, uh, start receiving more of what's here for me, stop feeling guilty, whatever it is. You can come in with that. However, if that's all you have and you don't do these other steps that I'm gonna give you, you're going to create a muddy, future. And that means you're not clear. That means the guidance that is here for you, the powers that are here for you aren't going to be quite aligned. And it's, it's the clarity of the connection to the truth that then opens the future you. Okay. So there's going to be four processes, a cleanse, and then connecting to your higher self, connecting to your soul blueprint, connecting to your Akashic records or your Akasha. I prefer to think of it because it's a field. It's an imprintable field, okay? It's living. 
and it con contains everything you've been done in this and any other life and everything everybody's ever done. So it is a accessible portal. It's, it's the best way to begin to access the infinite field. All right, because it's curated for you. <laughs> then you're gonna have a process of co-creating so once you have this clarity, once you get up, you do your cleanse, you write down, and then you sit, and then you aren't the one just blabbing. I want this, and I don't want that, and blah, 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 right? You're going, what is optimal for my highest good? What is awakening for me this year? Where has all this hard work gotten me? And what exciting new horizons are opening? I'm ready and willing, and I'm open and receptive to be connected to my future me that is most optimal at this time. And I'm ready and willing every day to walk this path in connection to my true path, my blueprint, my higher selves. Knowing that everything I need is already here, I'm ready to design and co-create. Then the doors open, the synchronicities happen. It doesn't mean every day of your life is perfect, all your diseases go away and no one dies. You get real, you're in a body, you're on earth. It does mean that you shift looking at your world from shame, blame, guilt, fame, fame. Um, <laughs> I love it. Uh, could be, could be. Being very, very famous could have some very, very bad uh, repercussions, right? So lower states, release yourself, please, whatever you do. Don't try to design things, create things in this muddied thing. Get the energy cleanse course at least. Now, this is the annual sale. 